Hello everyone, Jim here from Storm Morning News. Prayerfully, you are all well this day. It is Wednesday, April 26, 2023. Uh, wanted to share a dream with you. Uh, I had this, what is today, Wednesday? I believe I had this, was it Saturday night? It was Saturday night and it's still been, it's been laying on my mind now for uh, this number of days. It, uh, I had this dream twice, and I'm going to share with you the details, which are still quite vivid to me after, what now, uh, four days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, well, four, you could say four days, all right. It started out as, uh, I believe I was driving, and I not sure if I was alone in my car or not. There may have been others with me. That that part is still fuzzy. Um, but I know I was driving on a very high, what I would estimate to be a hill, because I was looking down at things as I was driving, and I sense I was driving very slowly. And what was ahead of me and below me were storm clouds, heavy, dark, gray clouds. And I could almost see the on the horizon would look like a city or a village, some sort of populated area. And again, I was looking down on this as I was moving toward it. I got the sensation that tornadoes were forming from these storm clouds out ahead of me. But to my right and be, below me, it's a short distance, as though they were higher up than other things I was seeing, was a row of rainbows, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, Roy G. Piv, a row of rainbows, and I could see the left end of them. There was a row of them, they would go up, and then they would kind of evaporate in the clouds. And I got the impression they were marking out a roadway. In other words, drive under the rainbows. They were markers almost, and they went off to the right, even though you watching this, it may appear in pointing left. They arced off this row of rainbows, and they were beautiful. And for a second, I got a close-up view of them, and then they were farther off. And I thought to myself, and I may have said to whoever was in the vehicle with me, those are really gorgeous. I don't know how many there were, maybe four or five, but again, it was though they were marking off what looked like some manner of roadway bearing off to my right, arcing. Are you following me so far? But then I saw numbers of tornadoes. They were in the distance to the left of the row of rainbows. And it was very ominous. And there was a populated area out toward where the tornadoes were. Then there was a very loud boom. And a quick flash of color and I thought that either I had died or been blown off of that hill. It was a boom. I mean, it was very, very shocking. And for a moment, everything froze. And then I popped awake. And I was really, I was really shaken by this dream. I fell back asleep a short while afterward on Saturday night. And I had the dream again. Same dream, same scene the row of rainbows marking off a roadway, the heavy clouds, the storm clouds, what appeared to be tornadoes coming down from them off to the left, populated area in the distance, and yet I knew I was in a very beautiful place driving on a high hill looking down. But then to my left, I saw what looked like, I guess I could describe it as perhaps an aircraft, a military vehicle of some, time, some kind that was crashing. There was dark smoke coming out of it. You could see the smoke spiraling down, even though it was somewhat frozen in the scene. And at the end of it was a round ball of smoke. And my first impression was, that's something that got shot down. It's either falling or it's a missile, but it's something. And then again, there was a boom, a very loud, shocking boom. For a split second, maybe a half second, 
There were multiple colors, white, red, blue, green, and then darkness. And I remember this time saying, hello, hello, can anybody hear me? Can anybody hear me? And I thought again for a second I was dead, but then I realized I was not. I was still very much alive. Can anybody hear me? Complete darkness. And then I popped awake. Had the dream, basically the same dream twice on the same night. Have no idea what it means. It could mean so many things. It could be an accumulation of all of the things that we are living through right now in the world. All of the signs, all of the birth pangs, all of the movements, the wars, the rumors of wars, the earthquakes, the weather, the signs in the heavens, all of these things all at once put together. But I'm very intrigued by the rainbows, the row of rainbows that seem to be marking off a roadway. I don't even know how to interpret this. I've asked for clarity, and when I ask for clarity from the Lord, it's like I just see the dream again. Almost like he's making me think about it. Pray about this, my friends. What do you think? If you've listened through all of this, pray about it. Comment below. Certainly, I would say an end times dream for sure. Uh, the darkness, the yelling, hello, hello, can anyone hear me? The confusion I felt after the booms, then waking up, then having the dream again with the boom at the end a second time. Again, sounding like a, a crash or an explosion. Don't know. Found it very chilling. Um, again, <laughs> I have to say this. There's always this caveat. This is a news channel first and foremost, yet I'm finding myself more and more just wanting to speak to you in this way and share these things with you, and I hope that anything I do like this reaches someone, at least one of you, in the right way. I'm nobody. I mean, I'm just, I'm just a guy who makes videos, but I love the Lord with everything I have, and I don't know about this dream. I'm going to ask you to pray about it. Um, I believe it is a warning. I believe that much in my spirit. It is a warning of current and coming events and a warning we need to take seriously. If I was to try to spitball this, rationalize this, that row of rainbows, four or five of them, however many it was, it was hard to tell, is marking off the path, the way to the gate that we will pass over, that few will pass over. That was the way home, that roadway off to the right. Everything else around was the world we're looking at right now, the storms of the world, the pending world war, uh, cataclysmic war that we are on the verge of right now that could occur any day. Warning me. The uh, In the second dream, what looked like the spiraling down crashing craft or missile, obviously a war warning of some kind. The tornadoes, the weather. Um, there was some shaking in, at the end of this video during the boom, too. But that was after, by the time I had these dreams, that was after the earthquakes that occurred here in upstate New York on Saturday. And they were more north of where I am, even though evidently here in this area, of this, right in the central part of the state, there were some. I did not feel them. They were in the afternoon. This dream was that night. Anyway, folks, just wanted to share that with you comment below, pray about it. Um, we'll go from here. I press into Jesus with everything you have. Everything. This is the time right now. These are the end times. Things in this world are only going to grow more treacherous for us. Pray for the unsaved. Pray that they will turn and repent. Pray for the sick to be healed. Pray. Press in. This is Jim signing off. Until the next time, God bless you.